All rise. Support court is now in session. Judges case number JVB1085, Kevill case. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, ladies, you may be seated. I'm Judge Brian D. Woodard, and ma'am, you brought this case before me. Matter of fact, before I get started on anything, what is, I see your both last names are Campbell. Yes. But I'm mistaken. So what is your first name? Kelly Campbell. Kelly Campbell. Yes. And you, ma'am? I'm Rochelle, but you can call me Ro. Okay. Rowan and Kelly. Kelly, okay. Yes. Kelly Rowan. Let me go there because if I forget it, it's Rowan Kelly. All right, so let's get started. So go ahead and tell me about this. My name is Kelly Campbell, the best project manager the yes. city has to offer. I brought my cousin to court because she's attempting to want to get involved in her son's life all of a sudden. But her choices, mm, they're poor. She has childish behavior, and she's not taking care of her responsibilities. Simple. She's not taking care of her responsibilities. How many, how, does, does she have children with you or living with you or? She has a son, six years old. Six years old. Yes. And so <laughs> what makes her childish? She's just, Girl, she I'm wanna grown. be in these streets. She's Girl, hold, on, hold on one second, hold on one second. We're gonna get to that I'm part. I'm real grown. Okay, Miss Grown, one thing about it is grown people don't have to tell other grown people that they're grown. So just wait till I get to you and then we're gonna go ahead and get this train moving. But I'm gonna get to you. Yes, sir. Miss Rowe. Yeah, R-O, <laughs> really obvious. All right, let's go. If let's you could go. change the R to a H. But the point, what I'm saying is. We're not going there, but go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and over like that. Sorry. I understand, but let's go ahead and get to business. She's childish because she chooses to mix up her, her, her priorities. Okay. It's not flying, Your Honor. Her child, you know it's about 105 degrees. She has no AC. She has a gym fan circulating in the home. The How window was cracked. The window hold, was cracked. Ladies, ladies. Let me go ahead and get something straight right here because I just want this to go smoothly. And I know how ladies are sometimes. We like to, y'all like to talk and get your point across and you're going to be heard. I promise you, you're going to be heard. Thank but you. being heard this way, it's not going to fly. So let's go ahead and continue without any interruptions. Ms. Rowe, it. when it's time for you to go, I will go back to you, Ms. Rowe. Yes, sir. But for right now, please keep quiet. Can we do that? Let's get this show back on the Thank road. Thank you, because she's rude. Not, I didn't ask about rude. what she is. I'm just asking you to go ahead and continue that, to tell me what you're going to do. I stand corrected. Oh, yes, ma'am. Let's go. I apologize. As I mentioned, her six-year-old is in very poor conditions. Circulating hot air with hot air is not going to fly. As I mentioned, the temperatures are high. She leaves a bowl of noodles, chicken flavor, for her son, Capri sons that aren't refrigerated. The child is so behind educationally. All he know how to do is whoa. It's just a lot going on. I don't like it and I am going to be the provider for her child. And that's it, point blank. Okay, and Ms. Campbell, what are you actually asking for before I go further into this? Honestly, I want the full custody of her child, Caleb. Okay. And I would like her to pay me since she wants other men to pay her. But that's what I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to tell me before I move on to Ms. Rose? I want you to see that she's truly childish. Lacks. I didn't, I didn't ask for insults. I said, is there anything that you want to tell me? I didn't know that was an insult. It's really factual. Um, no, that's, that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, see, this is going to be a challenge. Who don't you know? Ms. Rowe, let's go. Continue this show. Thank you, Judge. Okay, so they keep saying I'm crazy, right? They took my baby from me and gave it to her because I had a little date. I spent the block. I left him at the house by You spent the what? The block. We went to Perry. <laughs> me and his, oh, he was tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> but I was going to bring him a pork chop special bag. So I went on this little date, left him at the house by himself. I gave him some noodles, a Capri Sun, and... They call themselves saying, oh, you can't leave the baby at the house by itself. I'm like, look, he was good. It was just for like two hours. I was going to be right back and I was going to bring how, him back. How, wait a minute. How long? Like two hours. Two we had hours. reservations, so we're going to get right in. So you made reservations and you left your child 
with her for just two hours. Was it just for that night? It or was, was it? not two hours, Your Honor. It was six okay. hours All plus right. two bonus hours because right. she wanted to have a ride All right, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, continue this. Yeah, this Thank is, you. Know, so I, I, no, I really no. want to hear this she one. She think because she got a pool. But well, I ain't worried about that. Let's get to the facts. Okay, Go ahead. sorry. Um, so I spent the block, ran to the bears with the fella. You know what I'm saying? He was fine. Okay. So look, I'm trying to get him a stepdad. I was gonna bring him back a pork chop special. Have you had one of them Paris pork chops? You trying to get a it's step like daddy. Prestigious. Listen, it's, you're trying to go and get a step daddy. For the with baby. A, with, for a pork chop, with a pork chop? Is no, that how? bring him the pork chop bag. And so you expect him to be expect step daddy because he brought, you brought him to bring in a pork chop because you bring, I, I want him to be I'm my step daddy. So if maybe if I give him a pork chop, he gonna be my. I'm bringing the baby back a pork chop. Oh, the baby, you bring the yeah, baby a pork chop, not the, the man baby. a pork chop. No, the man was gonna buy the baby a pork chop. Okay. So I'm taking care of him. Hold on one second, hold, hold on one second, man. So, me and the man went out to dinner, I get back, they all, you can't, you, you're you not supposed to leave your baby here, this and this and this. I'm like, he's six years old. He got some noodles, he got a couple of Capri Suns. I cracked the window, the fan was on, so he was, he was good. They say I'm unfit, you know, I, I know I fight a couple people, bust a few windows, playing some ties, and they think that I can't. Ma'am, ma'am, you cannot be serious right now. Dead. Are, are you, are you, you really serious right now? Number one, you're talking about, well, first of all, let me say this, how hot is it outside right now? 105, that's it's, the car. Yeah, hold on, hold on, I'm asking her, because you're already at 105, because you're already talking, you heat it up, and I understand. Sorry, I'm passionate. How, how hot is it outside? Right? Well, that day, it was, uh, I mean, because we went at night. I like, didn't ask whether you went at night or anything, because like, it's still hot at night as well, too. I mean, about 80, 90, you know, it cooled down. But he had and a fan. You, and you got a fan. You gave the child a fan in the car. We cracked, I cracked the window. You cracked the So what is this child, a dog? No, 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 Caleb. He, he's a, a human. But it's hot outside, and you're going to give the child a fan. And then what and else? Capri Sun. And a Capri Sun. Two. Now let me ask you something. Would you want a hot car or a hot environment and somebody give you a Capri Sun? No, I was a Perry. You know what? Sometimes you just don't have the words to say. And I guess this is one of those times where, Lord have mercy, I do not have the words to say. Now this lady right here, Miss, what did you say your first name was? Kelly again? with a capital K. Miss Miss Kelly mm -hmm. with a capital K. The best project okay, manager. Okay, I didn't ask oh. if you was the best or the worst because you have no proof to tell me if you did right or wrong. It comes to those project managers or whatever that whatever else you say. You don't have to build the words I up to me. Kelly. Okay, but if you don't go. want to be done that way, what do you think that it's okay to? Let a child sit like that and treat it was him just like that. For two hours. It I doesn't matter. But I said, would thing. you want that done? I mean, but sometimes we gotta go through stuff to get to the bigger picture, and I was working on this. It looked like you got to the bigger picture with Paris. I did, yeah, and that's when you yeah. know the baby was gonna come with me on <laughs> uh, there. Oh, yeah, know, I see. I was okay. Setting him up. All Look, right. Uh, uh, Miss Rowe, how much do you make a make you make you make a year? I make sixty five. Sixty five thousand a year. And doing Here. what again? I work for insurance. Insurance. Hmm. An insurance, yeah, it's called but somebody else. All right, so before I do anything else, quick question because I almost forgot. So, who pays the health insurance for this child? I do. Okay, both of y'all can't say that at the same time. So, you, I'm you the mom. I, pay, I pay, it comes out of my check 350. I love my baby. If you know, you all you've been talking about is pork chops. Yeah, I can I, tell you probably been eating a lot of pork chops. Yes, but can no, you do what? She says she loves her baby. Yes. The only time she comes around is December the 31st to get his social so she can file him on the taxes. She's trying to get a come up. A come up. She lies, Judge. She puts okay. eight dependents. She got one kid. And so you're paying 60, I mean, they're paying you, obviously, uh, $65,000 for your income. Are you paying your cousin anything for keeping this child and taking pay care of her. this child. Well, I'm paying for her. She barely will give me the food stamp. She get $1,500 in the food stamp. Okay, I, I see where this is going I want now, my man. baby back. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's everything. You think the world just revolves around you because I cannot believe what I'm hearing right, right now. So this is what we're going to do. And it's obviously that, yeah, you are going to be paying something. I mean, you make $65,000 a year. Barely, Okay, so how long have you had the child? What's his name? Caleb. Caleb, correct. Um, Caleb has been with us about a year and a half. A year and a half? Yes, because thank God they did a welfare check. And, and you haven't received anything for a year Absolutely and a half? Absolutely not, but except 
Sorry, excuses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not here to insult. I'm just asking questions. A year and a half, you haven't received anything. Barely. Okay, you, obviously this child is going to need to be taken care of because, yeah. you know, everything in life, it just ain't free. You just can't drop your child off and let somebody else take care of it. I ain't dropping my off. Mm -hmm. She's taking care of your child. I want him back. It She's don't. taking care of us. Okay, so how come you just now coming to court and saying that you just want him back? What happened to all, what happened to the past year? I've been saying I want him back. She keep dragging me through the mud. Dragging you oh, through the mud. Oh, I'm unfit. <laughs> I'm very fit. I go to the train Ma'am, I'm just going to say this. Week, when I'm you're fit. talking about caviar or something like that, obviously about. you have other reasons. So <laughs> this is what we're going to do. So I'm you're... Fit. Are you? Just, Let, if you yeah. didn't hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies. Ladies, ladies, hold on. Because we're not going to go there. Y'all sound like my family during Christmas time. Mm. So, Miss uh, Ro Campbell. Yes. You see, you make 65000 a year, okay? Yes. Uh, you're paying by your cousin $350. Your gross is $5,417, and 20% of that with your net is $4,401.57. Uh, your high rim, 100 plus, we're going to add that $163 to it. So basically, you got to pay something. You just can't. You can't just let your cousin take care of all the business while you're thinking all high and mighty with pork right. chops and caviar. Hold on, it. wait yeah. a minute, hold on before we get to that. Let me go ahead and get this before I forget about it. So, yes, you're going to pay, okay? Ah. And the thing is, you're going to pay $1,043 flat. Nothing more, nothing less. Run but you need to be at home with your, if you wanted your child back so bad, it shouldn't have taken this long. Okay, you shouldn't be out there with the man eating pork chops and caviar while she's up there taking care of your child and not getting a dime. Not am, not. I, am, I, am I mistaken about that? None have of you the coins, All silver right. or copper. So before you have anything else to say, that is my decision. This case is over with. This is adjourned. You have my answer. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ladies, you, you, ladies, you may be excused. Thank you, Your Honor. Be sure to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel.